There is now a whole revisionist school of history, most famously perhaps in the, the work of Ken Pomerantz, his book The Great Divergence, which is about China. And he is trying to argue the thesis that China and the West were just the same until about 1800. And it was only after 1800, as a result of British imperialism and the use of coal, that Britain suddenly forged ahead and left China behind. But it's, he do, knows nothing about Earl's Cone or England or the West. He basically, if he had looked at a 17th century, records of a 17th century remote Chinese village and compared them with the records of Earl's Cone, he would see that the great divergence had already happened long before. This was a far richer, far more materially sophisticated culture with much more distribution of wealth. There, were no, there wasn't this huge poverty-stricken peasantry living here. They were affluent yeoman farmers and laborers and others. So the divergence, not only in some of the things he forgot, which was science and thought and art and culture and all the other things he leaves out of his book, but also in social structure and even in economy. Now it may be true that, as he argues, Chinese rice productivity was higher per unit of labor input or per capita than the kind of agriculture here. The Chinese, uh, there's no doubt the Chinese agriculture is more efficient in terms of what you can produce from a certain size field in China in rice planting than you can here in Earl's Cone. This is very extensive and China is very intensive. So if you're just measuring input-output, China is just as uh, or more advanced than England. But if you're looking at the standard of living, the quality of life, the way in which people live, the immense complexity and sophistication of the legal system here, and you compare that with China or India or other things, the divergence had already occurred. And it falsifies history. It makes it very difficult to understand what is happening in China now or in other parts of the world. If you think, oh well, the whole world was the same, they were all peasants, they were all backward, and suddenly England got an empire, found some coal, had an industrial revolution, and the Great Divergence occurred. It wasn't like that at all.